Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Google Keep to create the ultimate shopping list. So once you're here, it will look like just any other Google Keep or Notepad. Take note, the website is going to be this one, keep.google.com. And by the way guys, this is accessible for Android devices, mobile devices, your tablet, your laptop, or even Apple devices. This is just an application that you can download in the Play Store or even in the App Store. Now once you're here, so these are the lists that I've created from earlier. And now once you're here to get started, you're going to click on this take a note. Now please make sure that you click a specific thing first, which is going to be this one right here, New List. So before I click on New List, I'm going to show you the difference. If I hop on this one for example, I'm going to type in List 1. Altogether, list two is just typing random words, which is actually not a good one to start this one with. Since we're creating a list, might as well click on this new option that says new list. So if I click on it right now, I'm going to have this list item. Before you click on this item right here, let me just change the title. So for this one, I'm going to go for shopping list, something like that. And then for the list item, I'm going to go for, let's just say Apple. Now take note, once I start typing, I have a six dots right here and the box right there. If I click on enter, I'm going to create a next item. Let's type on this one oranges. And now this is the power of list. I have now an auto suggestion system. Before, if I keep on typing and so on and so forth without using the box from earlier, I will not have this. So with this one, I can get orange juices or the fruit. So if I click on the fruit, make sure you have that one. Now, for example, I type in here, ban. And now since I have a shopping list, it will give me this results. Maybe banana, banana bread, bandaids, or banana pudding. I'm going to go for bananas right here. And then for the next one, let's just go for cheese. So I have cheese sticks, cheese slices, cheesecake, cheeseburger. I'm going to go for a cheese right here. I'm going to go for milk. I have milks, milks 2% and magnesia. I'm going to go with this one with a simple milks. And basically with that, we have created a simple shopping list. And now let's optimize it. You're seeing these six dots, right? I know you're seeing them. You can translate, transpose, or you call it movement, whatever you call it. You can move one of the lists to one another. Now, for example, I want to create a new one, but I want to do it from the top section. So with this one, I can just simply click on enter and I have created a new one on top of the previous one. So with this, let's just call them produce. And with this one above cheese, I'm going to click enter and type in dairy. Dairy products, if you may. Now, since I have produce right there, I have dairy products. You're getting here where I'm going with this, right? For the uh, produce, if I move the apple just a little bit on the right, it will move an indention or let's just call it movement. Same goes for oranges. Same goes for bananas. And now if I move on cheese, same goes for milks. I have successfully organized it properly. And now with this one, since this is a produce, what if I just type in here? Let's just say Greek. So I have green beans, Greek yogurt, ground beef, green onion. And so on, I'm going to go for grapes. For the day products, since I have milk, I have cheese. How about we type in milk here? I have milk 2% as always, milk chocolate. And then I'm going to go for milk chocolate. And now you might be wondering what is the usage of this indention. So the usage of this one is number one organization. You're going to know which one is for the produce, which one is for the dairy products. But another one here is checking out. What I mean by that is if I click on the top section of the checkout, you'll see it goes to the bottom section for the produce. All of them has been checked out. But for some reason, I don't want to check out. It will go back there and individually, I can check them out one at a time. As you can see, once I check out, they'll go at the bottom under completed items. And that is the power of the shopping list from earlier. So always create that box right there from the start of the video or from earlier and now since i have three corrected if i simply click on produce right here it will not work because i still have banana there 
if I have banana and then I remove this one, it will go back on the top section. So right there, you have now know or you have now learned how to successfully cross out and uncross some things here. Now what's missing? So we have produce, we have dairy products, but we want to make them stand out. So I suggest always go for emoji. So for my end right here, since I have Windows 10, my shortcut is going to be holding the Windows key on my keyboard and then period. Again, guys, let me just pull up my notepad so you can see it properly. So again, that would be Windows key plus period. And you'll now have your emoji keyboard. Let me just try it right here. Hold the Windows key and period. So I have it right here. So produce, I think I'm going to go with Apple. Let me go for Apple here. Just look at it. Perfectly right there. And then since I have their products, I think I'm going to go with this one with milk or dairy, something like that. So I have eggs here. I'm going to look for dairy. That's milk right there, but that's not the kind of milk we're looking for. If we don't have it here, I think we're going to satisfy or be contented with this one. I'm going to go with this as dairy. So just think of it as milk. And there we have it. We have made them more prominent and exposed or be just being highlighted. And now speaking about the organization, what if I drag down this header, the dairy products up to the top section? Will the three right here follow or not? So let's try it out. So again, drag it right here and leave it right there. And as you can see, three of them under the dairy products have followed. Same goes with the produce, of course, they will follow the header. That's the power of indention or creating basically a header. Now speaking about crossing items out, as you can see, if I cross one here, they will go on the bottom. But what if I don't want them to go to the bottom section? Let me just close this one right here. Go to my settings. So click on settings right there. There is an option that says move check items to the bottom. If I remove this one like so, click on save and then go back on my grocery list or shopping list. And if I now click on that one, they will now just be on the top section. And then if I unclick them, they will just be there. They will not run themselves or be transferred on the bottom section anymore. Take note about that one, guys, okay? Now to add, speaking of checking and unchecking your list, let's just say everything is checked. And then let's just say you have a very long list. You don't have to manually click them. That's very tiresome, right? What if I told you there is a shortcut? So since they're all checked, Click on the click dots right here. There's an option that says uncheck all items. Easy as that. So even if you have a hundred items on your list, with that single click of a button, they will become unchecked. So we also have delete note, add label, add drawing, make a copy, copy to Google Docs, and version history. Take note about those, okay? Now there is an awesome feature here that I love the most. Because for me personally, as a guy, as a, a boy or a guy, whatever you call it, or a man, Going to a grocery is a pretty tedious work. So I ask my girlfriend, a friend of mine, or a, my mom, just send me the list. So for example, your mom created your list, a girlfriend of yours, or your wife created this list, ask them to send it to you via this option, says collaborator, and then basically enter your email and click on save, and you can now have this list anywhere you are in the world. As long as, of course, they have the right email for you. So as you can see right here, I have added my dummy account for this one. And then if you want to safely remove them, simply click on the X option. But if I remove the list right here, I am working now on another list. As you can see in the background, they're still there. So that means they can really view this shopping list. They can even make changes since this is a collaborator access. So again, if you want to remove them, simply like that, click on save, and now it's removed. Now, by the way, since everything is black here, what if you want to make it more colorful, especially this list? On the background, you have sitting list right here with the Coca-Cola, a link, and a background color. What if I add this one and change the background option to this one right here? A broccoli. How about some of this? Pretty awesome, right? But since this is shopping list, I think this is better since we have apples, celery, and the works on the background. One more thing. If I click on the pin action right here, it will not go on the top of my list. If I click on unpin it, of course, it will go back this previous section. Also, you can move them all around together to make it more organized. Pretty awesome, right? Now, by the way, another thing that's pretty helpful here is that 
setting a reminder. Remind me tomorrow, next week, pick a date and time, of course, a place. For example, if you want to pick a place, just enter your place here. Let me just allow this time only. For example, for this one, I type in Pampanga, annual city. I have this one for a place. And then for a time, I have tomorrow. Set for today, do not repeat. Click on save. And now I have a reminder for tomorrow. Of course, I can safely remove it with just one click of button, delete reminder. That's just like the collaborator from earlier. Easy as that. And basically, as you can see here, there is still a lot of things to go through Google Keep. I just showed you how to make an ultimate shopping list. But with this one, I can see a lot of notes going on here. So I have a video about it, so please check it out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.